May 15th marks the 20th anniversary of our organization. So much has changed in 20 years. When we started, my daughter Julia was a young toddler enjoying Barney and baby dolls between brain surgeries. She received care from local specialists who were wonderful people, but not experts. We had lived her entire young life not knowing another family with an affected child. There were few researchers and even less knowledge. Now, Julia is 22 and able to enroll in her first clinical drug trial. Now we can go online or visit almost any state and many countries and find a community of wonderful families to share our challenges. Now there's deep scientific and clinical understanding and the promise of a cure. We have a very special announcement today. We have a new name. From this day forward, our organization will be known as the Alliance to Cure Cavernous Malformation. Why? Well, first, later in 2022, we will finally have our own code in the International Classification of Diseases, or ICD-11. The ICD-11 is used globally to identify the illness and keep track. In the ICD-11, in all languages, the illness is called cavernous malformation. We want to embrace this to reduce confusion and make it easier to find each other. Also, we are an alliance to cure. It's our mission, and it includes everyone who takes part, patients, families, friends, researchers, healthcare providers, government, industry. Our tent is big and it's growing. And together in the Alliance to Cure Cavernous Malformation, the cure is promised. Thank you for being part.